Hey guys, this is Matthew Tate, and this is a quick video with another tool, another tip, another method on how to get mastery over those unwanted emotions. This particular one is kind of a spin on an old NLP technique. called the fast phobia but it's also got a bunch of other names and i've seen it applied in a variety of ways uh, one of the originators of the mindset tools known as nlp or neuro linguistic programming was all about rewinding a movie in your mind and so what i want to do is take you through a brief exercise to help you understand how to master those emotions, how to let that old movie that keeps on looping in your mind. You know the one, don't you? That one that keeps on annoying you, that one that makes you a bit angry or a bit sad or a bit, you know, uh, annoyed. Maybe you were ripped off uh, by someone and you just can't let it go. Or maybe you've been arguing or you've had an argument, even a one-time argument, and you just can't let it go. Maybe it's something a bit older. Maybe it's an old memory that comes up and every time it comes up, it fires off those negative emotions. Let's get rid of that emotion by letting it out of the brain so that our body can process it and it can all get released. There is a part of your mind I need to make you aware of called the amygdala. Now, this amygdala, it's like the bouncer of your brain and your body. It is the doorman or doorwoman. It is the security at the entrance. It is the Gandalf, if you want to use Lord of the Rings, thou shall not pass. And that's because it thinks that if this thing happens again, we're going to be in danger. Now it's doing its job. The amygdala is trying to protect you. And so before we can let go of this and we use this movie theater, I also like to throw in an extra little piece so that our amygdala can let it go. It can then just go back into normal memory as a thing that happened in the past. So there's a lot of scientific and doctors researching this, psychologists, psychiatrists, a whole range of different mindset brain experts who have researched this and are continuing to do studies. In particular, these techniques are very good when it comes to big traumas, but they're also good for the little annoying day-to-day -day things, those things that just keep replaying in our mind. So the technique to get it out of our mind is called the rewind technique. But beforehand, let's just check in consciously and think about that old memory, that old memory and you've probably got one in your mind, maybe it's a five out of 10. Let's not do anything massively traumatic. Let's just do something that's a bit flaming annoying. And let's process it. Let's get rid of it today. So choose something that's around a five out of 10. An annoying thought or loop that keeps on going on in your mind. And that annoying thought or loop that you've got in your mind, I want you to imagine it like it's a movie and what we're going to do is we're going to use a movie technique where we will rewind the movie not yet but in a moment but the first little thing is we train ourselves up and we're going to use a bit of a richard bandler technique here to help people process and let go of those old emotions that movie that movie that's in your mind I want you to now picture that movie that before the situation happened that gave you that bad feeling. It was an old memory, it was an old set of circumstances. It was something that happened in the past. And I want you to find a safe place before it happened in your mind's eye. Get a picture of that now. You got that safe place before the thing that annoyed you happened, the annoying thing, the thing that gives you the sadness, the, the anger, the, the guilt or whatever it might be. And now let's picture an image of what uh, a moment in at the end of the movie. So at the end of the movie, at the complete other end, when you were also safe, where the whole situation was over, that old memory 
that fires off that old thought loop. And we're going to create a movie. And that movie is going to be scrambled today a little bit so we can get out some of this emotion. So you've got a safe place at the start. You've got a safe place at the end. Are we all good with that so far? And in the movie, you know all the critical moments along that movie. And now remember, it's not a traumatic one. We're choosing something that is very annoying. It keeps on coming up, fires off old memories. And we'll try this on bigger stuff if you do a one-on-one -on -one with me. But for the moment, let's just make it those five out of 10 memory. So you've got the point at the start, you've got the point at the end. Excellent. And so now what we want to do is for in that movie, let's just come up with a, a learning or a takeaway that will allow us to let go of that movie. As you go back into that movie, think about what you could have done differently in that movie. And think about going back as yourself now, if you were faced with that same situation now, what could you do differently this time? Knowing what you know now, knowing that you have grown more since that past event, knowing that you are much smarter, much wiser, and much more mature than you were then. It's a good one, isn't it? And so if you think about that, what's the lesson? What's the learning? What's the takeaway of how you would do things differently, bringing yourself now back to then and how you would approach it differently so that that didn't happen again? What is the learning that you would take away from that situation that will allow you both consciously and unconsciously to let that old thing go? Have a think about that for a moment. Come up with the learning. Just one, just one learning. Something that will allow you to let it go. This movie, this memory, this feeling that gets fired off. Very good. And so now you've got the learning, you've got the movie, you've got the first point, which was safe, and the last point into the beyond the movie that was safe. And now I want you to go to the end of the movie. And I want you to plonk yourself down in the end of that movie. And what we'll do now is we will rewind it. We're going to rewind it, not now, but in a moment. But I want you to take it from the end of the movie to the start of the movie backwards. Everything is going to be going backwards. People are going to be talking back as I thought, what dropping? They're going to be going at a million miles per hour. <laughs> And as they're going at million miles an hour, they're going in reverse. I know it's ridiculous. And what I want you to picture is along the way, there's some silly music. What silly music would you put to this little movie to scramble it enough to let it out of the amygdala? What silly music would you put to it? Maybe you would put to it, mm, maybe Benny Hill show, you know, if you're, anyone recalls that. Da, 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 you know the music if you've watched the show from the 60s and 70s or maybe it's circus music or maybe you can make a silly noise like doing 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 <laughs> it's got to be stupid right you're scrambling your movie right so it lets it out of the amygdala because it's no longer the same as it was before what is your silly noise and it could be something completely different to what I said. All right, very good. Okay, here we go. I want you to go to the movie. Now, if there's any kind of a response, even getting near the movie, it means you've chosen something that's a bit too full on. Now, before we jump into it then, let's just make sure that we have a few controls. Something where you can fire off a positive anchor before we do this let's now look at an anchor before we rewind it because i want to make sure you are totally safe and let's fire off an anchor that is about being let's say confident and calm 
when we're totally confident or maybe empowered is a better word pick the word empowered where you were enough where you had it together where you were moving forward where you had control over what was going on and you thought wow i'm invincible today i want you to go back to a special memory a very special memory where you were totally empowered totally empowered and you are feeling amazing as you float along your time stream i want you to see what you saw hear what you heard and feel what you felt and even think the thoughts that were going through your mind at that time and really feel those feelings in the body you can even get a dial and turn up the volume of all of the sounds brighten the picture and as the feelings start to magnify dial up the feelings as well double the feeling in your body and as the feeling starts to rise i want you to get your index finger middle finger and your thumb and squeeze them together something a bit unusual it's an unusual feeling squeeze them together and hold it as you amplify that feeling and let it go go back into the feeling we're going to fire this off during the rewind just in case bad feelings come up okay so now let's go into that feeling again the good feeling that empowered feeling you've got that scene don't you you've got that moment haven't you in your mind's eye and you remember how that feels don't you that's right you're doing a great job going back into the past back to that moment where you felt totally empowered seeing what you saw hearing what you heard feeling what you felt and now I want you to really enjoy those feelings as you think the thoughts that went through your mind you see the people you hear what they said you hear other things that were going on when you were totally empowered as you start to go into that feeling squeeze your fingers together and as it ramps up double the feeling spin it around the body faster and faster and faster spin it around the body even faster and hold it there and let go of the fingers and we'll do it one more time going back to that feeling back to that empowered state it might be another memory it might be the same memory doesn't matter let's go to your memory when you were totally empowered when you were feeling incredible and you knew you had it together and go back to that moment see what you saw hear what you heard and feel what you felt in that moment that's right now i want you to double the feeling ramp up the feeling spin it around the body faster and faster and faster from the tip of your toes to the top of your head and then squeeze those fingers together as it ramps up and as it starts to peak hold it for five four three two one and let it go and break state do you smell popcorn <laughs> no no i don't that's the break state now let's test it out let's squeeze these fingers together oh nice little feeling going on in my body here because i was doing it too yeah a little bit of a feeling going on there. that's cool that's a bit of an anchor that you can fire off if your emotions get too high but that means you've chosen something that's like an 11 out of 10 and we don't want that <laughs> choose something that's just a bit annoying okay we've given you a resource state which is something that will get you back in control now let's go back to that movie you got your safe scene at the front of the movie you know what that moment is having that in your mind's eye and you've got the picture at the end of the movie in your mind's eye so you've got a picture at the front picture at the back go to the picture at the back floating down onto that scene and enter the scene looking through your own eyes and now i want you to from the very end scene to the very front scene rewind the whole movie in about five seconds 
super fast, everything going super fast, not now, but in a moment. And I want you to have all the noises in there. You're going to have your silly music. You're going to have everything going backwards as you look through your own eyes in color. Everything's going backwards and it looks weird. Three, two, one, and go. Rewinding. Five, four, three, two, one. As you get to the other end. And all the way, you got, got that funny noise. And it's all going to the other end. A bunch of munchkins going backwards. So silly. So stupid. Everything's in reverse. Supersonic speed. Everything's in there that you know is in there that makes you upset. But yet, it's all scrambled. And if you're feeling anything, remember, fire off your anchor at the same time. If something comes up that's unwanted. Okay, so how did you go? That is the Richard Bandler technique where I've thrown a few resources in the front end there. But effectively, you just go to the very end of the movie, in the very end, and you just rewind it and put some silly things. Maybe you can put some other noises in there, like boing, 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 as it goes backwards. Put a noise in there, put something in your pictures, put something in your thoughts, something in your feelings as you're going backwards. Maybe you could fire off your anchor as you go backwards. You're scrambling the movie out of your amygdala. And once you've let it out of there, your body can allow it to go with some other change work, which is what I specialize in, helping people get that old emotion out of the body, out of the mind, reframed, so it goes into normal memory. It's just a thing from the past. You're not in the pain anymore. You are moving forward. That is the Richard Bandler version of the rewind technique or my interpretation of it. Obviously, he might, might beg to differ. <laughs> Then this is watching lots and lots of videos and reading books of his over the last couple of years. And this is my take on that. And it's very effective. It really helps me on my day to day. If I have a ruminating thought, it is amazing how it lets it go. So I've got a, um, a range of different workshops I do, a lot of them free where you can come along and experience some of these types of things in a group setting. And you can share the takeaways with you. the other people in the group can share their takeaways. And you can see how everyone's wired differently, but has the same result by getting to know their own system. My name is Matthew Tate. This is Fork in the Road YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. And I hope you got something out of my version of the Richard Bandler technique today. Remember to fire off that anchor, put in some funny music. This is Matt Tate signing out. Thank you.